Hello everyone, welcome to another series of today's GK. Let's begin with previous day question. Question was, it is a national park and a tiger reserve situated in the northern part of Odisha's Mayur Bhanj district. It has waterfalls like Joranda and Barehi Pani. The park is known for the tiger, elephant and hill mina. It holds the highest tiger population in the state of Odisha. Identify the protected areas according to the above given statement. Satkozia, Simlipal, Bhitarkanika or Hadgad. The correct answer is option B, Simlipal. Simlipal National Park in Odisha's Mayurbhanj district has turned out to be the hunting ground for animal poachers over the last few years. Simlipal witnessed 11 elephant deaths since 2019 including 4 in 2021-22. Most recently, the carcass of a male elephant was found in the Talbanda Wildlife Range. Simlipal, which derives its name from Simul, Silk Cotton Tree is a national park and a tiger reserve situated in the northern part of Odisha's Mayur Bhanj district. The tiger reserve is spread over 2,750 square kilometer and has waterfalls like Joranda and Barahi Pani. The park is surrounded by high plateaus and hills, the highest peak being the twin peaks of Kheriburu and Meghasini. At least 12 rivers cut across the plain area, all of which drain into the Bay of Bengal. The prominent among them are Burha Balanga, Palpala Bandan, Salandi, Kahairi and Deo. The park is known for the tiger, elephant and hill mina. It holds the highest tiger population in the state of Odisha. Hence, option B is correct. Now, let's begin today's session. First question is, National Commission for Women was constituted under which of the following acts? The National Commission for Women Act 1990, the National Commission for Women Act 1991, the National Commission for Women Act 1981 or the National Commission for Women Act 1982? The correct answer is option A. The National Commission for Women Act 1990. Recently, the Honorable President of India has addressed the 31st Foundation Day of the National Commission for Women in Delhi. The theme of the program is Sashakt Nari Sashakt Bharat. It aims to acknowledge and celebrate the stories of women who have excelled and paved their journey to leave a mark. NCW was founded in January 1992 as a statutory body under the National Commission for Women Act 1990. It was established to review the constitutional and legal safeguards for women, recommend remedial legislative measures and facilitate redressals or grievances. It advises the government on policy matters affecting women. The first commission was constituted on 31st January 1992 with Mrs. Jayanti Patnayak as the chairperson. Hence, option A is correct. Next question is, consider the following statements regarding credit guarantee scheme for startups or CGSS. 1. It was established under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. 2. It would help provide the much needed collateral free debt funding to startups. Which of the above given statement or statements is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option C, both 1 and 2. In recent findings, India's startup space has seen a rapid rise in terms of numbers and impact. The number of recognized startups by the government has gone up from 452 in 2016 to 84,012 in 2022. Credit Guarantee Scheme for Startups or CGSS was established by the Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, that is DPIIT. It comes under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Government of India. Hence, statement 1 is correct. It provides guarantee coverage through National Credit Guarantee Trustee Company Limited or NCGCTC to its member institutions or MIs on debt facilities extended by them to startups recognized by the DPIIT. The scheme would help provide the much needed collateral free debt funding to startups. Hence, statement 2 is also correct. Therefore, option C is correct. Next question is, the administrative tribunal can be found in which of the following constitutional provisions of India? Article 323A, Article 324, Article 325 or Article 326? The correct answer is option A, Article 323A. 
Recently, the Central Administrative Tribunal under the AGs of Department of Personal and Training has organized a two-day orientation workshop. It was organized for the members of Central Administrative Tribunal at Indian Institute of Public Administration. It aims to develop the conceptual framework for discharging the CASI judicial functions in the tribunal. It aims to understand the relevant areas of constitutional and administrative laws applicable to service matters. Parliament may by law provide for the adjudication or trial by administrative tribunals of disputes and complaints with respect to recruitment and conditions of service of union or of any state. It is mentioned in the Article 323A of the Indian Constitution. Hence, option A is correct. Next question is Khelo India Youth Games 2023 is going to be organized in which of the following states? Haryana, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh or Karnataka? The correct answer is option B, Madhya Pradesh. Recently, the Sports Ministry has launched a mobile application for the athletes taking part in the upcoming Halo India Youth Games. The Games will be held in Bhopal from January 30 to February 11. The app will allow access to all information about the Games on a click of a button. The app gives an athlete a chance to check if his or her verified documents have been uploaded before the start of the Games. This will ensure greater transparency for athletes in the registration process. Further, to ensure that athletes have immediate responses to query raised by them during the games, a WhatsApp chatbot has also been created. Hence, option B is correct. Next question is, which among the following countries signed a Memorandum of Understanding or MOU with India to translocate more than 100 cheetahs? Sudan, Egypt, Kenya or South Africa? The correct answer is option D, South Africa. Recently, India and South Africa have signed a Memorandum of Understanding or MOU to translocate more than 100 cheetahs to India over the next decade. It has issued by the Department of Forestry, Fisheries and Environment, South Africa. The plan is to translocate 12 cheetahs every year for the next 8 to 10 years to establish a healthy and genetically diverse cheetah population in India. Restoring cheetah populations is considered to be a priority for India. It will have vital and far-reaching conservation consequences which would aim to achieve a number of ecological objectives. Hence, option D is correct. Next question is, consider the following. 1. Sweden is a member of NATO. 2. Sweden lies to the southwest of Finland. Which of the above given statement or statements is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option B, two only. Recently, the Turkish president has signaled that Ankara would accept Finland into NATO before taking any action on the membership of its Nordic neighbor Sweden. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization, also called the North Atlantic Alliance, is an intergovernmental military alliance between 30 member states, 28 European and two North American. NATO aimed to guarantee the freedom and security of its members through political and military means. It was established by the North Atlantic Treaty, also called the Washington Treaty of April 4, 1949. Sweden is not a member of NATO as of now. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. NATO is committed to the peaceful resolution of disputes. If diplomatic efforts fail, it has the military power to undertake crisis management operations. Sweden is a country located on the Scandinavian Peninsula in Northern Europe. Sweden lies to the southwest of Finland. A long coastline forms the country's eastern border extending along the Gulf of Bothnia and the Baltic Sea. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Hence, option B is correct. Next question is, which among the following countries has won 2023 men's FIH Hockey World Cup final match recently? Germany, Belgium, India or Netherlands? The correct answer is option A, Germany. Recently, Germany beat Belgium 5-4 in the penalty shootout to win the FIH Men's Hockey World Cup 2023 at the Kalinga Stadium in Bhuvaneshwar, India. The scores were level at the end of regulation time at 3-3. Jean Paul Denneberg proved to be the hero for Germany as the goalkeeper made three saves in the penalty shootout. Germany became the fourth team to have won three or more Hockey World Cup titles. Pakistan is the most successful team at the Hockey World Cup 
have won the title four times. Hence, option A is correct. Next question is with reference to National Cadet Corps or NCC, consider the following statements. One, it came into existence under the National Cadet Corps Act of 1948. Two, the motto of NCC is unity and discipline. Which of the above given statement or statements is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option C, both one and two. Recently, the Prime Minister of India has congratulated the NCC members for their contribution towards nation building. The NCC is celebrating the 75th year of its inception. The NCC or National Cadet Corps is a youth development movement. It has enormous potential for nation building. The NCC provides opportunities to the youth of the country for their all-round development with a sense of duty, commitment, dedication, discipline and moral values so that they become able leaders and useful citizens. The NCC provides exposure to the cadets in a wide range of activities with a distinct emphasis on social services, discipline and adventure training. The NCC is open to all regular students of schools and colleges on a voluntary basis. The students have no liability for active military service. NCC came into existence under the National Cadet Corps Act 31 of 1948. It was passed in April 1948. It came into existence on 16th July 1948. The motto of NCC is unity and discipline and the nature of the NCC program is voluntary. Hence, statement 1 and 2 are correct. Therefore, option C is correct. Next question is, the Rashtrapati Bhavan Gardens, which is popularly known as the Mughal Gardens, was renamed as Shivaji Udyan, Amrit Udyan, Char Bagh Udyan or Rajendra Udyan. The correct answer is option B, Amrit Udyan. Recently, Mughal Gardens was renamed as Amrit Udyan. It was done on the occasion of the celebrations of 75 years of independence as Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. Hence, option B is correct. The gardens are thrown open for the public for a limited period during spring each year. It was designed by Edwin Lutyens. The iconic garden is spread across 15 acres and it incorporates both Mughal and English landscaping styles. The main garden has two channels intersecting at right angles dividing the garden into grid of squares. A char bag or a four-cornered garden is a typical characteristic of the Mughal landscaping. Last question is, consider the following statements regarding Manas National Park. 1. It is located in the state of Assam. 2. One horned rhino, swamp deer, pygmy hog and Bengal florican can be found here. Which of the above given statement or statements is or are not correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option D, neither 1 nor 2. That is both the statements are correct. Recently, the carcass of the rhino was found near the Narayangudi forest camp in the Basbari range of the Manas National Park. This national park is located in the state of Assam in northeast India, which is a biodiversity hotspot. Hence, statement 1 is correct. The Manas is recognized not only for its rich biodiversity, but also for its spectacular scenery and natural landscape. Manas is located at the foothills of the eastern Himalayas. The northern boundary of the park is contiguous to the international border of Bhutan manifested by the imposing Bhutan Hills. The park harbors endemic species like pygmy hog, hispid hare, and golden langur as well as the endangered Bengal florican. Hence, statement 2 is also correct. Therefore, option D is correct. Now it's time for the practice question. The recent All India Survey on Higher Education or AISHE report is released by which of the following ministries or institutions? Niti Aayog, Ministry of Education, University Grants Commission or NGO Pratham? Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.